All right, so I'm at the Tesla shop because I got to get some uh, tires replaced here in uh, good old Austin, Texas. And uh, one of my good friends here at the store offered me a test drive of the new Model 3 refreshed. First time I've seen it in person. Looks really sharp. I, I've always liked the headlights on the uh, on the pictures and everything that they had, all the videos. The brake lights look really, really sharp. Honestly, one of my favorite features about the car uh, from a looks perspective, I just think it looks a lot more sharp, a lot more luxurious. The one thing I do notice is that the quality, the materials on this thing, it's a little rainy, sorry, Tesla. <laughs> the qualities are significantly improved from the last um, Model 3. It's actually, I, it feels more premium than my Model Y, the 2020 uh, Performance Model Y. You got a rear screen back here as usual. You know, the, the back seat's gonna be about the space of the old Model 3. It's gonna be a little cramped for bigger people, but that's just, you know, the form factor of the scar. And then if we get in the front, the first thing I notice is just that door. It just closes so good. That's a huge improvement for Tesla, for sure. Screen feels as responsive as ever. Never really had any issues with Tesla. And of course the missing stocks, we'll see how that goes. So I'm gonna take it out for a spin, see how it drives. Really, really cool car. It feels, yeah, it just feels much more premium. It looks much more premium. Definitely a step up from that perspective. It's actually, it makes me kind of jealous that I don't have this versus my Model Y, <laughs> to be completely honest. Wanna drop it around, see how it feels. Real quick, I was just talking to one of the techs out here. I thought what I was just driving is an all-wheel drive Model 3. It's a real wheel drive. So keep that in mind as I'm talking about the dynamics. And I think that speaks even more about sort of what Tesla has achieved with this car. So just keep that in mind. Okay. This thing is freaking nice. <laughs> okay. The biggest things that stick out to me as somebody who's been driving Teslas for exclusively for the better part of eight years, the ride quality on this thing is probably one of the better ones that Tesla has released in its lineup. It's probably up there with the Model S, sort of how it rides low to the ground, but it's still comfortable, cushy. This car doesn't have air suspension, but it feels it feels like it can absorb the road really, really well. And, and that was immediately something that jumped out to me is that it the way the car absorbs the road and the way the car hugs corners, it's very, very comfortable. It, it just feels like you're in a, in a really nice car, uh, especially for the price. I think this kind of car at this kind of price is probably a, a, a hard thing to find, especially if you're looking at, say, a gas car that wouldn't have this type of dyna dynamic as far as fast acceleration, low center of gravity. Pretty, pretty impressive stuff. The one thing that I don't like, I the click buttons on the turn signals, these guys right here. On the Cybertruck, which I've driven multiple times now, those buttons feel like, I don't know, it's like, I think the supplier that's giving, that's in charge of this steering wheel that Tesla has for the Model 3, the refresh, I think they can do a better job with the uh, turn signal buttons because they don't feel as, uh, I don't know, as responsive as the ones on the Cybertruck. It's a little bit harder to find the clicky place for them. And when I click them, it doesn't, I don't know, it just doesn't feel like I'll show you exactly what I mean. So right here, I'm clicking, but it's not depressing. And I'm not that far away from the arrow. There it clicks, there it doesn't, there it doesn't click. And I found myself having that issue where I didn't know where the start or end of the button was. I think you would wanna make the turn signals as, I don't know, as easy to find as you can because it's such a quote unquote radical change from how cars usually handle. So that, that would be my one thing I don't like about this, this specific car. Now, acceleration is great on this car as any other EV, especially a Tesla when it comes to their responsiveness. It feels great. I think the performance version is probably going to take this to a whole other level. But if you're somebody who just wants to wants a car that you're not super, super concerned about, you know, top performance. I mean, this car feels like it offers a lot. It really, really does. The sound system. Let me check it out real quick and let you know. Great. <laughs> really good. 
copyright reasons, not going to show it. But the it's just as good, if not better, than my Model Y performance. I have to do like a side by side comparison. My twenty twenty Model Y performance. It sounds very very similar. It's not as it's not as um as good as the Cybertruck sound system. Or the Cybertruck sound system is one of the best out there. Period. But for again for this value for money for how much you would pay for a Model Three, which I believe starts at thirty eight before any tax credits or anything. Excellent, excellent, excellent sound system. That's the one thing I always hear from people that experience a Tesla for the first time. I always hear just people are blown away by the by the sound system. Uh, Really, any Teslas that they get into, it's like one of those hidden features that Teslas have that very few people are aware of. Extremely quiet, way more quiet than my Model Y uh, on the roads, both in fast, you know, fast highways and slower city roads over bumps. It just feels a lot more refined. It feels like they, they've really taken a lot of time to put effort into making the car feel luxury, making it feel quality. The wind noise and just the way it's insulated. Again, the way these these this car, this door sounds, when you close it, again, you know, something that Tesla is not known for. You know, the one thing that Tesla always, the, <laughs> the crap they always get online is like, quality sucks, the panel, panel gaps are garbage, blah, blah, blah. I don't know, man. I don't think you can say that about this company anymore. With this Model 3 that I'm experiencing, and I've heard other people say this as well with theirs, is that you can tell the company is really taking a lot of steps to get quality down, to get those little things, the little details down, so that when they start going in their next phase of growth with their compact car that may or may not be canceled, it's I, I would be extremely surprised if it's canceled. Reuters claims it is. Elon Musk says they're lying, whole drama thing. This is the kind of stuff that they have to figure out and really get nailed down for the customer because once you have millions and millions of cars out there for people, it's going to be something that's very crucial to get honed in because then you don't want 20 million people complaining about your fit and finish. I think Tesla is out of that phase now where they're much more focused on quality, much more focused on refinement, and it shows in this car, it shows in the Cybertruck. I really think that it's clear that the company's taking extra efforts to up their quality. So very impressed, honestly. The seats are very comfortable. The cooling feature is awesome. The AC works great as always. It feels like a Tesla that's better. And again, the value for money formula that this car offers, like I'm almost trying to justify, I'm trying to figure out, can I figure, can I make this car make sense? <laughs> we have a newborn on the way in about a month my wife and I. The Model Y that we have is the perfect car really for you know our first child, probably our second child as well. Plenty of room, safe as hell. Gives me the performance I want when you know the kid's not in the car. Trunk is big, it has a front trunk. Car seats work great in it. And something that my wife likes to drive. So it's the perfect car, but I'm like in this car and I'm like, damn man, I wish we could figure out how to get this thing in our garage. Because I really, the, the, the driving dynamics of this thing is really the thing that's, as somebody who that's, does enjoy to drive, the common person will really enjoy driving this car. I watched a Doug DeMuro review on this car. And I, I like Doug a lot. I like Doug's content a lot, by the way. Shout out Doug DeMuro. And one of the things he he said about the Model 3 is that it's the greatest, the, the refresh, it's the greatest appliance ever made. And I agree. <laughs> I, think, I think that's a proper way of defining this car up to a certain point. If you're talking about a car enthusiast, like somebody who likes to go around a track in a Porsche 911, or a Ferrari, or a Honda S2000, or a Mazda Miata, or you know whatever whatever car, go down the list, uh, the new Chevy Corvette, those people will view this car as a, it's, it's a fantastic value for money, but the driving dynamics are not where it, it is for my liking. And I agree with that. But the thing that I think we need to keep in mind here is that this car is not tailored, this specific version is not tailored for that kind of car buyer. It's tailored for your Corolla driver, your Camry driver, your uh, Prius driver, your Malibu used Taurus, you know, <laughs> people that just want a point A to point B machine. And I think those people are going to be extremely surprised by how this car drives. And it's an EV thing. The driving dynamic that this car has is an EV thing that a majority of people still have no idea what it feels like. But from an EV standpoint, this car takes it to a different level. And that's not being talked about enough, I don't think. Is that the driving dynamics, even in this in this version, the non-performance version, they feel really, really, really good. 
Are you going to get the fastest track times on the track? Of course not. Is it going to blow the mind of the average driver? Absolutely. And that's my takeaway for this car. So I thought I think Tesla has done a fantastic job with this vehicle. Again, the direction with the quality, I'm really, really loving. It's something that you can tell the company's taking seriously. Plenty of space in this car as well from a storage perspective. The uh, cup holders, I wish it were a little bit bigger. <laughs> That's another thing I don't like. I wish the cup holders, cup holders were a little bit bigger. I got this like coffee with me and it doesn't fit, unfortunately. In other cars it does, but it, it is what it is. There's no better starter car if you can afford it. You know, it's still an expensive car, 38,000 for most people. But if you you have an under $40,000 budget, and you're like, hey, I want to get a car that does everything, that is not an SUV, that's a sedan form factor, that does everything, and it gives you the best value for money. If you can, if you can afford $30,000, 30 to 40000 this car will blow your mind. I, I really think so. I think this car will blow your mind. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry for my hair. I didn't have a chance to do anything. <laughs> Could you tell I was not ready to record this video? <laughs> and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for stopping in. Bye-bye.